Suppose we had an object on a slingshot, and for this example we have a fetus. If we know the initial condition as well as the elasticity of the slingshot itself, we will be able to calculate it. Slingshots have something called potential elastic energy, where the energy is found by the equation us is equal to one half kx squared, where k is a constant, and usually slingshots have a constant of 32.7 newtons per meter, and the x is the distance that you draw the slingshot back. All objects abide by something called the law of conservation of energy. For example, a bowling ball lifted a certain height has gravitational potential energy and when released, converts that potential energy into kinetic energy by movement. Combining both potential and kinetic energy, we're able to equate them to each other and solve for velocity, which is now equal to the square root of kx squared over m, where m is the mass of the object that we're throwing and x is the amount of drawback in the string. In order to find the next thing, we need to understand a little bit of calculus. On the far left, we see a graph where a, the position of a certain object kind of arcs. And we can see that if we find the derivative of that graph, that we'll find its velocity over time. And if we take another derivative, we'll be able to find the acceleration, which is constant. Applying this, we're able to find that acceleration is equal to the change of velocity over the change in time, aka dv dt. Integrating this, we'll be able to find that the final equation for velocity is equal to v0 plus at. Going a step even further, we can integrate velocity again and find that position is equal to the initial position plus the initial velocity times time plus one half times acceleration times t squared. The next step is vectorizing our angled forces. We do that by finding the angle theta and we find what varying contributions the force has to both the x vector and the y vector. The left part doesn't exactly help draw a path, so in order to do that, we have to first use our position equations that we've formulated and find the time in which the object hits the ground, aka when the y position is zero. So by doing that, we can find the time that it hits it and then find the x. And as simple as that, we're able to find that an average fetus with a slingshot will go 8.535 meters using a slingshot.